I will be preaching on the subject that perhaps uh, would not always be the subject matter of many preachers. But I remember preaching a series of messages on this many, many years back. And I would like to preach this tonight because I believe this will be a very, very important message to all of you this evening, whoever you are. Tonight I will preach to you on time. How to redeem the time. It says in verse number 16 of Ephesians chapter 5, Redeeming the time because the days are evil. I read to you 2 Timothy 3 to 1 to 5 to tell you how evil the world is then. Diba? Sinabi to ni Apostle Paul, ki Timothy, uh, more than 2,000 years ago. And Apostle Paul already saw the evil of his day. Diba? Ayan. Ano yung evil of, the, of, of his time? Nakalagay dyan lahat. Okay, because uh, pag binanggit sa Bible ang last days, kasama yung time ni Apostle Paul. Okay. Kaya yung span ng last days, mula kay Paul hanggang sa atin ngayon. Yan ang last days. Hanggang sa bagating ng ating Panginoon. Ano sabi ni Apostle Paul? Sa 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse number, number 1, di ba? This know also. Alamin niyo rin to na sa mga huling araw, ha, delikado ang mga panahon. Perilous times shall come. Naunawaan niyo ba? Hello? Hey. Ha? Delikado ang mga panahon, sabi ni Apostle Paul, sa mga huling araw. Kasama yung panahon niya, kasama yung panahon natin, at kung unang panahon ni Apostle Paul ay marami ng mga violence at lahat ng mga bagay na yan, lalo na sa ating panahon. Especially today. I was just hearing in the news that the mayor of Ozami City, is that? Okay. This family controlled Ozami City. They are the Parahinog family. They are the uh, the organizers of the Kuratong Balelenggang. Okay? At sila ay pinasok ng mga otoridad. Two o'clock in the morning, in the process, the mayor, the old man of the clan was killed. The vice mayor, who is also a parohinog, ay nahuli. And I was told there's about 11 to 12 people that were killed along with that. Okay. Well, let me know. Eh, mukhang nagbabago na itong si Parahinog sapagkat I was told by the pastors there that he came to know Christ. He was evangelized by our Baptist preachers and he came to know Christ. But you know what? You live by violence. You die by violence. And that is always true. You know, you live by the sword, you die by the sword. Now, whether you have changed, you know, and whether now that you are peaceful and quiet and, and, and reformed or even transformed, you live by the gun, you will die by the gun. Uh -huh, okay? So I have a gun in my office. Anyone there that has... Uh, some intentions to gun me down. Unahan tayo. You know? Una, unahan lang yan. All right? I have to carry a gun again. I have not done that for many years. But it's an, it is a necessity on my part right now. Okay? With all of the violence we have, di ba? Why? Why do, have, why do we have violence? Yeah, no? Lakalagay sa verse 2. Ah, tinamunan natin, ha? Lagay sa, la, ba, ba't marami tayong violent? Ha? Okay? You know, at tulad nung isang artista nung araw yan, ha? Pangalan niya, Alma. 
no? Ini-interview siya nung, nung reporter. Sabi niya, Alma, hindi, you are no longer uh, doing movies, bold movies. You are now doing movies on violence. And Alma said, Nakuha, piano nga, hindi ako marunong violence pa kaya. Anyway, um, <laughs> so, alam niyo kung ano yung violence, ha? Oh, hindi yung ginagamit ng mga porte. Hindi yan. Okay? Alright. Oo. Anong sabi rito? Bakit maraming violence? Why? In verse 2, for what? For men shall be lovers of their own self. Alright? Ano yan? Sa Tagalog, mga tao ay mamahali nila ang kanilang mga sarili. Pag inibig mo ang sarili mo, Ano resulta? Ha? Huh? What is the result if you love yourself? Covetous. Boasters. Proud. Blasphemers. Oh. Mga bata. Nakikinig ba kayo? Disobedient. Alam niyo ba yun? Disobedient to parent? Mga bata, kung anong ibig sabihin nun? Hindi sumusunod sa magulang. Ayan. All right? Pag yung mga bata, hindi sumusunod sa magulang kasi mahal nila ang kanila mga sarili. Kasi kung mahal nyo yung magulang nyo, susunod kayo sa magulang nyo. Pero dahil sa mahal nyo sarili nyo, hindi kayo sumusunod sa magulang. Amen ba mga bata? Amen ba? Sabi nyo amen. Amen ba? Nakasan nyo? Amen ba? O may mga bata pa dyan? Ha? Mm. Unthankful. Unholy. Mm. Without natural affection. Pinapaliwanan ko ito eh. Itong verse 3. Without natural affection. So nakakita ka ng nanay, bagong panganak, tinapon sa basurahan. Without natural affection. Tama? Hindi natural yun eh. Oo. Okay? Bakla, tomboy. Without natural affection. Hello? You realize that? No, hindi ko sinasabi, hindi ko sila mahal. Mahal ko ang mga bakla at mahal ko mga tomboy. I want them to be saved. I want them to know Christ. But people ought to realize that is without natural affection. Right now, I'm so glad I... I commend Donald Trump for ordering a ban on transgenders in the military. Palapan Donald Trump. Now, you might say why. Ang reason niya? Ano reason niya? Ha? Because lumalaki ang cost sa medical ng mga transgender. Bakit? Sabihin ko sa inyo kung bakit. Sapagkat ginagamit ng transgenders ang pair ng military para magpa-sex change. Yun. Kaya sila nagmi-military. Don't you know there are more than 6,000 transgenders today in the U.S. military. At ginagamit nila ang health benefit para magpa-sex change. Tinama ng mga lintik. Diba? Yun ang dahilan. Kaya ala, ano sabi? Now you know. Hindi <laughs> di, di nyo alam eh. Diba? Yan ang sabi ko sa inyo. Alright? Kaya binan niya ang pag-hire, ang pag-accept uh, ng mga transgenders sa military. Okay. Ah, uh, Truth breakers. Ano yung truth breakers? Ito, ito, ito. Ha? Itong truth breakers. Ano yung truth breakers? Hindi lang po ito yung uh, nagbe-break ng peace. Kundi covenant breakers to yung mga hindi sumusunod sa tipanan. ba? Imbitahan mo sa church, hindi pupunta. Covenant breaker. May appointment, hindi pupunta. Oo. Kala nyo hindi kasalanan yon. 
Kasalanan yun. ba? Diba? Hello? Oh. Kasalanan yun. Oh. False accusers. Incontinent. Walang control. Fears. Babangis. Despisers of those that are good. Traitors. Heady, high-minded. Pangatas nakalagay, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God. Kaninang umaga, ay binanggit ko yung na ang, ang gusto ng maraming taong yon mas puno ang mga gym at mga gymnasium, di ba? Pag pinag-usapan alin, pag pinag-usapan ng football, pinag-usapan ng baseball, pinag-usapan ng basketball, puno yan. Magbabayad pa sila. Di ba? Pero ang house ng Panginoon, nako, kahirap magibita Kahit ang mga members, Am I right? Mga members na yan, ha? Kaya kanina, sanabi ko sa mga, ano, sa mga Sunday morning worshipers, salamat ako yung mga bisita. Kayong mga bisita, salamat sa pagkating. Kayong mga Sunday morning, hindi ako magpapasalamat sa inyo. Pero to lang, ang mga Sunday morning dito, hindi naman givers yan, eh. They're not cheerful givers. Because if you're a cheerful giver, you're going to be honest with God, you'll be faithful. They're not cheerful givers. Pwede ko lang sabihin na mawala na sana kayo rito. I would not even, you know, uh, be afraid to say that. If, if you think that God is only Sunday morning to you, hello, am I right? Go on. Oh, maasal na naman ako sa preaching ko ito. Di ba? Ako, sanabi ko sa inyo, I'm tired, folks. I need respite. Pagkat, pagpagod na ako at, uh, you know, I get irritated when I see someone na dyan lang naman yan, hindi naman yan faithful talaga. Eh. Naunawaan niyo ba ako? Ha? Kayo mga parents, don't you get irritated when you have a son who only comes home when he wants to come home? Hello? Ha? Kayo mga nanay at tatay, hindi ka ba naasahal pag mayroong anak na uuwi yan pag gusto mo muwi? Hmm. How to redeem the time? Ang sabi ni Philip Stanhope, Philip Stanhope, was a fourth earl of Chesterfield. Alam niyo kung saan ang Chesterfield? Hindi ko yun alam. Pero yan Chesterfield, nung araw, sigurilyo yan. Okay? Ano sabi ni Philip Stanhope? Know the true value of time. Snatch, seize, and enjoy every moment of it. No idleness, no laziness, no procrastination. Never put off till tomorrow what you can do today. Why is this country poor? It's not because we don't have money here. Alam nyo ba, pinag-uusapan yung Diwalwal, Mount Diwalwal, noong isang araw. Have you heard that? Mount Diwalwal is in the Compostela Valley, I think. You know, na ngayon, hindi na small miners ang nandun. Mga big miners na acting like small miners. Now, can you imagine small miners getting 75 kilos of gold? 75 kilos of gold every month. Small miner yan, ha? Alright. Don't you know na ang sabi? ng mga ng uh, mga scientists natin there is gold in the walwal for 75 years hindi maubusan kahit na 24-7 ka maghukay dyan hindi maubusan kaya tinatawagan ko yung mga pastor na naghukay ngayon ng ginto sa Cordillera at sa Muntalban tumigil na kayo dyan walang ginto dyan pumunta na kayo ron sa di walwal Mount Diwalwal. May mga ginto doon. Meron pa mga pastor na luko-luko eh. 
you know, alam niyo ba yan? Oo. Isa dyan, MPPE. Hanapin ko yun eh. Papatawag ko dito eh. Okay. Balita ko eh. Nag-arap doon ng ginto eh. Papatawag ko dito. Papupuntahin ko sa Monte Walwal eh. Oo. O doon siya maganap ng ginto kung hindi siya patayin doon. Alright? Oo. Bakit? Mahirap. Kahit na mayaman ang basa natin. but mahirap? Idleness, laziness, and what else? Procrastination. Alam nyo yung bisa yung procrastination? Delaying, delaying, delaying. Tama na, bahala na, di ba? Manyana habit. Sa na tunutunan yan? Sa mga Espanyol? Oo. Manyana habit. Que sera, sera. Whatever will be, will be. Ano yon? Faith. F-A-T-E. Di ba? Procrastination. Ang sabi ni Philip, ha? Never put off till tomorrow what you can do today. Ang sabi ni William Shakespeare, Better three hours too soon than one minute late. Kilala niyo si William Shakespeare? Ah, okay. Nahikinig ba kayo? May mga Pilipino, ah, magandang basahin niya, pero hindi nakikinig eh. Better three hours too soon than one minute late. Kung ganyan ang ugali ng mga Pilipino, maganda basa natin. Do you realize that? Maganda basa natin. Oo. Alam niyo ba kung bakit umalis ang mga garment factory sa Pilipinas? Oh, Ang pinakamalaking may-ari ng garment factory sa Pilipinas, kaibigan ko, pastor ngayon. Isa sa pinakamayaman sa Pilipinas. Right now, wala ka na makikitang garment manufacturing sa Pilipinas. Noong araw, dito ginagawa lahat ang mga tela. Do you realize that? Ang mga tela noong araw. May discount pa ako ron sa kumpanyang yan. Pag mubunta ako na, namimili ako ng tela. Malaki ang discount ko. Ngayon wala na. Do you know why? Even if we have good quality control, but we are not good in our time. Ano ba niyo ba ako? Ah, delay. Oo. If you realize the importance of uh, your client, if you realize the importance of your contract, You realize the importance of uh, what you're doing? Be on time. Be on time. Very few politicians come on time. Pagka minsan, pati ako, ay napapagaya na sa kanila. Pero pag sinabi sa akin, ha, Peter at 4 o'clock, I'm there at 4 o'clock. Pero, sa, sa politics, pag sinabing be there at 4 o'clock, hindi ba nag-isimula yan? Mag-isimula, 6 o'clock. Nakakita ako ng mga churches. I was invited as anniversary speaker in a church one day in a supposedly big church in Metro Manila. Anong oras simula ng service? 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, hindi ba nag-isimula? I, I was there before 9 o'clock in the morning. 10 o'clock, hindi ba nagisimula? Why? Because they're waiting for late members to come. Hey, I'm not going to wait for you here. Do you realize that? So better three hours too soon than one minute late. Learn that, even in your business. Learn that, even in your own work. Learn that. Eh, ma-traffic eh. Umalis ka na maaga. Kung alam mo na, nata-traffic ka ng dalawang oras, umalis ka, three hours before. Hindi yun yung palagi yung daylan. Alright? So now, let's talk about this. What shall we do to redeem the time? But first of all, atin muna pag-usapan yung ibig sabihin ng redeem. Redeeming the time, di ba? In Colossians chapter 4, verse number 5, binanggit din yan eh. 
the Apostle Paul sa Madaga Colose. Sabi niya, redeeming the time. Open there. The book of Colossians chapter 4 and verse number 5. Walk in wisdom toward them that are without. Redeeming the time. Redeeming the time. Now look here, folks. Why would the Apostle Paul speak of walk in wisdom toward them that are without? Huh? Because there is wisdom in time. Okay? Ano yung redeeming the time? Of course, the word redeem means to buy. All right? It says, buying up for yourselves the seasonable time. Buy some time. Hindi na yung be on time, but buy time. Bumili ka ng oras. Purchase time. Yun ang ibig sabihin ng redeeming the time. And be not unwise. See? So now you know the meaning of the word redeem. The time. So what shall we do to redeem the time? Number one, good planning. Good planning. In Proverbs 24 and verse number 27, it says, Prepare thy work without. Prepare thy work without. You do not prepare your work, you are going to delay time. Do you realize that? Prepare thy work without and make it fit for thyself in the field and afterwards build thine house. Prepare. Make it fit. Oh, Alam nyo, mga pastor, dapat makaalam nyan eh. Di ba? Hindi naman sa la- engineer, nag engineer Hindi naman sa la- arkitekto, nag arkitekto Akala nila, mas magaling sila sa engineer, saka sa arkitekto. Ang tatay ko, magaling eh. Nakarpenter yan. Pwede mag-engineer, pwede mag-arkitekto. Yung lolo ko, ah, lolo ko, namit niya yung kanyang professor in college. Hindi siya nakagraduate eh. Sabi niya, sabi, pangalan niya, Pirisisimo eh. Pirisisimo! Ano? Engineer ka na ba ngayon? Sabi nung lolo ko, Sir, kung walang mathematics, engineer na ako ngayon. Ang <laughs> galing eh, no? Di ba? Kung walang mathematics, engineer na ako ngayon. Alright? Ang father ko, gumagawa ng plano yan. Marunong niya. Pero ako hindi. Hindi ako tulad ng aking ama, yung aking Uncle Sam, na tayo ng unang building dito. Siya lang kung tayo unang building dito. Ha? Hindi tulad ako. Kahit sila hindi engineer talaga na may lisensya, marunong mga plano eh. Marunong gumawa ng plan. Ako hindi ka ako ganun eh. You know that? Kaya, hindi ko ilalagay ang building na ito sa aking mga kamay. Bakit? Baka lumindol. <laughs> Di ba? Tapos tayong lahat. Meron tayong arkitekto, meron tayong engineer. Let them be the one to do the plans and the design of it. You see that? May mga pastor na ganyan para makatipid. Hey, kung hindi ka marunong, nagpapagawa ka, hindi ka makakatipid. Okay? You prepare for that, you plan it out, you make it fit. And that's how you redeem the time. Huh? Good planning. Luke 14, 28. For which of you, intending to build a tower, sit it not down first and count at the cost, whether he have sufficient to what? To finish it. Whether he have sufficient to finish it. Kung hindi ako nagmamadali, I would not care about how long it is. All right? Yung itong building na ito dito, bago yan, kasi per ano yan eh, per pace yan eh. Ito muna, tapos yun, tapos yun, tapos ito. All right? We built that building for five years. We waited for all the money to come in. In five years' time. But we are not, you know, losers. Ibig sabihin, hindi na apektahan yung gawain natin just because we have a finished building. Oh, Pero bakit yung building sa Angeles? Sinuguro ko na may pera ako. 
Bakit? Sapagkat by December, wala nang building ang mga taga-angles. Sapagkat that property, pinagbili ko na yan. Alright? So we're building now. And we are building a building with enough money to build. Now, what's that? That's wisdom. Alright? That's wisdom. Okay, good planning. Number two, right course of action. What shall we do to redeem the time? Right course of action. Proverbs 2.9. Proverbs 2.9. Then shalt thou understand righteousness and judgment and equity. Yea, every good path. Now you think that equity is only used in business? Equity is a biblical word. All right. In Ecclesiastes chapter 8 and verse number 5, Whoso keepeth the commandment shall feel no evil thing, and a wise man's heart discerneth both what? Time and judgment. A wise man's heart discerneth both time and judgment. I hate people who are always late. You know that? Because I'm not that way. They're covenant breakers if you're late. Then, thirdly, awareness of pitfalls. What shall we do to redeem the time? Be aware of pitfalls. Proverbs 27, verse number 12. A prudent man foreseeth evil and hideth himself, but the simple pass on and are punished. A prudent man. Do you know what the word prudent means? It means to be cunning. It also speaks of eloquence. It speaks of discernment. It speaks of having intelligence. Being prudent. Speak of being skillful. Prudent. In Ephesians chapter 5 verse 15... See then that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as what? Wise. 1 Corinthians 10, 12. Wherefore, let him that thinketh he standeth, take heed, lest he fall. Awareness of pitfalls. Be aware that there are some pitfalls there. That you ought to be warned of. Number four. Proper attitude. Proper attitude. You want to redeem the time? Have a proper attitude. First Peter 4.1. For as much then as Christ has suffered for us in the flesh, arm yourselves likewise with the same mind. For he that hath suffered in the flesh hath ceased from sin. Arm yourselves likewise with the same mind. Proverbs 18.15 The heart of the prudent get it knowledge. If you're intelligent, if you're cunning, the heart of the prudent getteth knowledge, and the ear of the wise seeketh knowledge. Now, how I wish pastors will learn this. How is they will? I think that pastors, if you are watching right now, read the book of Proverbs, understand every word of it. It's not good when the ministry fails because the pastor. It's not prudent. Now, anong sabi ng text natin? 
redeeming the time because the days are evil. Why are the days evil? That's the second question. Bakit ang ating panahon ay masama? Why are the days evil? Number one, because of the God of this world. Because of the God of this world. Sino yung God of this world? In 2 Corinthians 4.4, In whom the God of this world hath blinded the minds of them which believe not, lest the light of the glorious gospel of Christ who is the image of God, should shine unto them. The God of this world is the cause of all evil, the prince of the power of the air, the devil, Satan. He is the origin of all kinds of evil. Be aware of that. In 1 John 5:19. And we know that we are of God. Do you know if you are of God? Do you know that you are God? Huh? Alam niyo ba na ikaw ay anak ng Diyos? Alam mo ba yan? Alright? And we know that we are of God. And the whole world lieth in wickedness. The whole world lieth in wickedness. John 12 and verse number 40 says, He hath blinded their eyes and hardened their heart that they should not see with their eyes nor understand with their heart and be converted and I should heal them. Aren't you wondering, or aren't you? Aren't you wondering why there's so many Christian organizations today. There's so many evangelical churches today. And we thought that many are becoming Christians, but they're not. Ha? Huh? Kayo mga magulang, pinalaki niyo yung anak niyo rito. Patula rito ngayon. Ligtas ba yon? Ha? Huh? Alam nyo, wag niyo palulukuhin ang sarili nyo. Akala nyo lang save yun eh, dahil anak mo eh. Hindi. Dito lang yun, lumaki. Akala mo, anak, akala mo save, di ba? Kasi save ka eh. Pero hindi. The God of this world. Don't forget that. And then number two, because of the presence of evil in us. Because of the presence of evil in us. First, Timothy, First Peter chapter 2, verse 11. Dearly beloved, I beseech you as strangers and pilgrims, abstain from fleshly lusts which war against the soul. We have that. Abstain from fleshly loss. Ano nakalagay sa Romans chapter 7, beginning verse number 15. Ano sabi ni Paul? Ano yung inamin niya? Ano realize niya? For that which I do, I allow not. For what I would, that do I not. But what I hate, that I do. It, if then... I do that which I would not. I consent under the law that it is good. Now then it is no more I that do it, but what? But sin that dwelleth in me. For I know that in me, that is in my flesh, dwelleth no good thing. Kaya ba ka maasar sa iba? Maasar ka sa sarili mo. Why? Because in you, kahit save ka, in you, in your flesh, dwell, does not dwell any good thing. For to will is present with, him, with me, but how to perform that which is good, I find not. For the good that I would, that I, would 
I do not, but the evil which I would not, I know, that I do. Now, if I do that I would not, it is no more I. Ano yung I? Yung new, na- yung new nature. Ano yung I? Yung converted soul that do it, but sin, the old nature, the sin nature, that what? That dwelleth in me. Hello? Kaya, hindi ba? Pabanurin mo yung attitude na isang anak ng Diyos yan. Maasar ka. Hindi magandang attitude. Di ba? Especially pag kausap mo araw-araw yan. Hindi magandang attitude. Negative palagi yan. Everything. Why? Because there is that sin nature there. And before you look at somebody else, you look at yourself first. Kaya nga sinabi ni Apostle Paul, ha? Huh? Before you see the moat on somebody's eye, you first of all look at the beam in your own eye. Because you have that. Hello? And you're not going to find that in this pulpit, ako magiging pastor mo, and I will condemn you or judge you. No, this is the word of God. Word of God to eh, hindi ba? Oh. Where are they is evil? Number three, because we have lost many good opportunities already. Damning opportunities that are lost. Matthew 25:18, yun nakatanggap ng isang talent. He that received one went and dig in the earth and hid his Lord's money. Instead of using that, he hid it. He didn't use it. Every talent that God gives you, you must use it for God's glory. Amen. 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 Sleeping in the service is not a talent, it is sin. Pinapaalala na lang kita, ha? Asabi ko lang sa'yo. Okay. We have lost many good opportunities already. Proverbs 18.9 He also that is slothful. Ano yung slothful? Hindi lang tamad. Yung tamad, lazy, di ba? Yung slothful, ano yun? Batugan. He that is, he is slothful in his work, is brother to him that is what? A great waster. You waste good work, you waste time. Diba? You waste your talent, you waste time. It's a big waste. The days are evil. Why? Because of the many temptations they bring. The many Temptations they bring. Daming temptations. So, mundong ito. Ha? Kikinig ba kayo? Ha? 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 22. Flee also youthful lust. Oh. Yung youthful lust, hindi lang from youth yan. Kahit tayo mga matanda, my youthful lust. I'm 66 years old. I still am youthful in my lust. You know that? Alam niyo, pagtanda mo, tumatanda rin yung lust mo? Hindi. Oh. Lalo ba mga bata yan, dahil pagtanda mo, kakaroon ka ng uh, second childhood. <laughs> Tawa ni Bates Simpson. Flee also youthful lust, but follow righteousness, faith, charity, peace with them that call on the Lord out of a pure heart, but foolish and unlearned question avoid, knowing that they do, do gender strives. And the servant of the Lord must not strive, but be gentle unto all men, apt to teach patience. Because 
of the many temptations they bring. And number five, because our days are few. You think that our days are long? No, they're few. Alam niyo ba yan? Akala lang natin, ang haba ng July, bukas pa ang end ng July, July 31, di ba? Akala ko August na. Am I right? Nagkikinig nga ako ng radyo pag gabi eh. Akala ko December na eh. Pambira. July 1, ang pinapatugtog, whispering hope. Oh. John chapter 12, verse 35 to 36. Then Jesus said unto them, Yet a little while is the light with you. Walk while ye have the light, lest darkness come upon you. For he that walketh in darkness knoweth not whither he goeth. While ye have light, believe in the light, that ye may be the children of light. These things spoke Jesus and departed and did heed and did hide himself from them. Our good days are few. Do you realize that? Our long days are evil. And because of this, in Matthew chapter 9, verse 37, the Lord Jesus Christ told his disciples, The harvest truly is plenteous, but the laborers are few. Pray it therefore, Lord, the harvest, he will send forth laborers into his harvest. We're calling on men and women to give their lives to Christ. And that's what we need now. We're calling men and women who will not surrender the all to Christ to be dedicated to God. Serve God. Why? Because the days are few. We don't have long days for God to serve now. They are few. And we're losing those days. Do you realize that? We're losing that. Alam nyo sa sinabi ng Bible in the Old Testament, labor not to be rich, huwag kayong magtatrabaho para yumaman. Narealize ko bakit? Sapagkat hindi ka kasama 10% na yumayaman. Kahit anong klaseng trabaho ang gawin mo, hindi ka yayaman. So dedicate your life to God, your career to God, your work to God, your business to God. Be rich in God. I now would like to use the, uh, the message of Jonathan Edwards tonight in conclusion. This will be a long conclusion because it's one message just to let you know that uh, Jonathan Edwards preached on the preciousness of time and the importance of redeeming it. When? December of 1734. preaching almost the same message huh? right now to you in July of 2017. And I have not read this message only now. Who is Jonathan Edwards? He was a Puritan. He was not a Baptist. He was a Congregationalist Protestant theologian, but he is a Puritan. He held to the Reformed theology. One of the f- many educated preachers we knew. Jonathan Edwards graduated in Yale University. Jonathan Edwards had three brothers who were what? University presidents. Jonathan Edwards. Before he died, 
was appointed president of the College of New Jersey at the time, which is today is Princeton University. You know what Princeton is? It's an Ivy League school. He was the president. And he was a very good preacher. One of the uh, well-known messages he preached was the sinner in the hands of an angry God. A very popular message. He was the grandfather of Aaron Burr, the third vice president of the United States. Why am I telling you this? I'm telling you this because I'd like you to know that this man is a, was a very educated man. Do you realize that? And the Lord gave him wisdom to speak about time. Now let me tell you about that. The preciousness of time and the importance of redeeming it by Jonathan Edwards. Speaking about Ephesians 5.16, he said, Upon time, we should set a high value and be exceeding careful that it be not lost. And we are therefore exhorted to exercise wisdom and circumspection in order that we may redeem it and hence it appears that time is exceedingly precious. That's why wisdom and time are related. Ang taong bobo, walang pakialam sa oras eh. Do you know that? Ang taong palpak, walang pakialam sa oras yan. Malate man siya, Hindi man siya pumunta, wala siyang plano sa kanyang buhay. Dito sa MBB, walang bobo dito, walang palpak dito, lahat dito mga anak ng Diyos. At binigyan kayo ng talino para gamitin ang inyong panahon at oras para sa kanyang kaluhulatian. Kung bobo ka at palpak ka, maging member ka sa iba, hindi rito. Naunawaan niyo ba ako? Pinagmamalaki niyo ang pastor niyo, ikaw hindi ko pwede pagmalaki. You do not need to be very intelligent. No! You only need to know the wisdom from God's Word. And be simple. I'm not saying we all of us are extraordinary, but hey, we have the Holy Spirit within us. And because of that, we have wisdom, not just knowledge. Now, why is time precious? Why is time precious? That's the question in the message of Jonathan Edwards. Number one, how we use our time has eternal and temporal consequences. How we use our time has eternal and temporal consequences. Matthew 6, 19 to 21. Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth where moth and rust that corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust that corrupt, and where thieves do not break through nor steal. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Are you wise? Then you put up treasures up there. Not down here. Well, how we use our time has eternal and temporal consequences. Jonathan Edwards says, Hence, it is that time is so exceedingly precious because by it 
we have opportunity of escaping everlasting misery and of obtaining everlasting blessedness and glory. That's why time is precious. And while God is giving you the opportunity to serve Him, you serve Him now. And while you have the opportunity and the time to listen to a pastor like this, listen to God now. Why? Because this message, you're not going to hear this message anymore for a long, long time. Be wise. And listen. Secondly, he says, time is very short. Time is very short. Now first, let's go to 2 Thessalonians 3.10. Read it for a while. 2 Thessalonians 3 and verse number 10. For even when we were with you, this we commanded you that if any would not work, Neither should he eat. And that's the problem in our country. A lot of people want to eat without working. Hello? I do not want to have any member here that is lazy. Hello? Be useful to your society. Amen? Amen? Be useful to your government and to your family. Now, secondly, time is short, very short. Job 9, 25 to 26. Now my days are swifter than a post. They flee away, they see no good. Kijobian, huh? And that was written more than 6,000, more than 5,000 years ago. All right? Verse 26. They are passed away as the swift ships, as the eagle that hasted to the prey. That's how short time is. James 4.14. Verse Whereas ye know not, what shall be on the morrow? For what is your life? It is even a vapor that appeareth for a little time, and then what? And then vanisheth away. Edward says, time is so short, and the work which we have to do in it is so great that we have none of it to spare. The work which we have to do to prepare for eternity must be done in time or it never can be done. All right. Do you know why we have a good attendance this morning? Because I was angry on Tuesday. On, on, on Tuesday. Was that Tuesday night? Huh? Wednesday night. I was so angry, I almost break, broke the table. You know that? And I told the workers, you better get up and work. Oh, yung pala eh. Pwede pala eh. Pwede pala eh. Hindi ba? Pero tatama rin na naman kayo ngayong linggo. Babakita na naman kayo, you're wasting time. There are many souls out there getting lost, folks. When we waste time, do you realize that? Let us use time while there is time for us to serve God. 24 hours, folks. How many hours do you work? How many hours do you pray? How many hours do you serve God? How many hours do you read your Bible? How many hours do you reach out to other people? Hey, do that. Don't you ever tell me that you have no time to spare to use it for the glory of God. Pero marahe pa kanina. Marahe pa kanina ang hindi nakaranig nung galit ko nung Wednesday night.
Eh kung dito ako magalit, hindi ko ba yan sipahin niya, baka mabasag eh. Pagyan niyo ko ng table dito ha. Hindi ko naman sinasabi maging perfect tayo, di ba? Hindi ko naman sinasabi wag kang mag, wag kang magkamali sa isang araw sapagkat kahit ayaw mo, magkakamali ka eh. Am I right? Kahit ayaw mo magkakasala, magkakasala ka eh. Hindi ba? Pero wag naman sa araw-araw puro kasalanan ang ginagawa mo. Wag naman! Wag naman sa araw-araw, wala kang inaasigado kundi sarili mo. Do something for God. If you want God to do something for you, hindi naman ako nagtidemand sa inyo hindi in the Lord does not demand anything from us that we cannot do. Oh, sabi ko sa mga old people natin sa ating mga senior citizen, you cannot visit anymore, you cannot get out anymore, you can pray more, you can pray more. Am I right? Antong ka sa bahay, pray more. Kung kinakailangan ulit, ulitin mo, pray more. Why? Because I need your prayers. Eh tumatanda ka na wala kang ginagawa, kahit mag-pray, hindi ka nagpipray. Anong ginagawa mo? Ha? Matandang walang silbi. Ganun ba? Hello? Ganun ba? My goodness. When I, I told you already, folks, kayo mga tumatanda dyan, be my prayer warriors. Time is very short. Diba? Pinapakita ko sa inyo rito na walang pagkakaiba yung preaching ni Jonathan Edwards sa preaching ko eh. Hmm. Kayo mga kabataan, what do you do every day? Ha? Huh? Nakakita ka na maraming kabataan ngayon. Maraming, nag, maraming ngayon mga kabataan nagsasalamin. May grado ba yan? Meron. Bakit? Parehang iPad eh. Parehang cellphone eh. I have been wearing glasses since I was 19 years old. Do you realize that? I don't want to wear glasses now. You're young. You should be vibrant. You should be excited. You should be strong. Where do you use that? Huh? Do you realize what? Do you realize the seriousness of what I'm telling you? Huh? Do you realize that? Because if you don't, I just better go home and sleep. My goodness, if you will not listen to me. Mga Pilipino are fond of using their spare hours in gossiping. You know that? Alam niyo mga 300 years ago sa England, 
Ano ang parusa sa mga gossipers? Sa mga madaldal? Ha? Ano ang parusa? May parusa yan eh. Oh, pinapatawag yan at pinapaligiran yan ng mga tao. Ha? At minumura sila ng ilang oras. Dapat merong kanyang batas dito sa Pilipinas eh. Do you want to spend your time doing that? You want to spend your time talking about other people? Huh? The work which we have to do to prepare for eternity must be done in time or it never can be done. Sabi ni Jonathan Edwards. Everything that we do here is in preparation for our life hereafter. Do you realize that? Number three, sabi niya, we do not know when we will run out of time. Do you know? You don't know. We do not know when we will run out of time. You know, partly I blame the government for the traffic mess. Do you realize that? Congress would like to pass an emergency power bill to help solve the traffic problem. But the Department of Transportation does not have any proposal at all on how to solve the traffic problem. We were interviewing the leader of Piston. You know, itong mahilig na magrally dyan na mga may-ari at driver na mga jeep na militante, di ba? Going against the modernization of transportation public utilities. Noong nagtatanong kami ng mga questions over the radio, Sinara yung telepono. Because they felt we are not supporting them. Why are you against modernization? Let all the rolling coffins get out of the streets. Ko ang coach mo, 15 years old. Igarahin mo na yan. Benta mo na yung mga bakal. Kikita ka ba? Hindi yung gagamitin mo yan dyan sa kalye na ang takbo mo 20 kilometers per hour akala mo ang bilis mo. At bida ka pa. Get that out! That's the problem we have in our nation. You know that? Hindi naman sa lahat eh. Dito lang sa Metro Manila, saka sa Metro Cebu, matraffic eh. Munta ka sa ibang lugar, hindi. Tagaytay, ang traffic. Hindi matraffic mong madaling araw. Di ba? Pag alas 11, kaya ako, suggestion ko, baguhin na yung work days, going work nights. Oh, magiging matrapik na naman sa gabi. <laughs> we don't know when we will run out of time. Folks, listen, people are running out of time every day. Maraming namamatay ng mga bata. They're running out of time. Maraming nagkakasakit na hindi dapat magkasakit. It's still time. Sabi ni Jonathan Edwards, we are every day uncertain whether that day will not be the last or whether we are to have the whole day. Then fourthly, we cannot get time back. We cannot get time back. Kaya nga sabi ng Bible, 
redeem the time. Eh. Lost time is lost forever. Do you realize that? You cannot get it back. One hour from now is not one hour before. Okay? Just think. Ito, ito lang illustration. Just think of how quickly your children have grown up. Just think. I look at our children here. Kayo nakaramihan sa inyo rito ng mga young people nung araw. Ako nagkasal sa inyo. Di ba? Alright. Nagkaanak ka, ako ang dedicate ng mga anak ninyo. Ngayon, lalaki na. Panakikita ko yung mga anak ninyo lumalaki, nalulungkot ako. Hindi sa pagkas sa kanila, dahil sa pagkas sa akin. Ibig sabihin, tumatanda na ako. But look at those kids. They're, they're growing up. Am I right? See? We cannot get time back. If a man should lose the whole of his worldly substance and become a bankrupt, it is possible that his loss may be made up. Sabi niya, that was in 1734. He may have another state as good. But when the time of life is gone, it is impossible that we should ever obtain another such time. All opportunity of obtaining eternal welfare is utterly and everlastingly gone. Ngayon, kayong mga bata, kayong mga young professionals, naintindihan nyo ba yan? Ha? Ha? Naintindihan nyo yan? O wag ang diploma lang kayo, pero wala kayong utak. Secondly, ang sabi ni Jonathan Edwards, how do we waste our time? How do we waste our time? Paano mo i waste ang time mo? Ha? Number one, ito, mag, ma, ma, matindi ito eh. We waste our time with idleness. We waste our time with idleness. Sige nga, Pag-aralan nyo ang panahon nyo mula pagising nyo hanggang pagtulog nyo at isulat mo lahat ng ginawa mo. Meron ba? Marami ba? Substantial ba? Ha? Makapagpapahinga ka pa ng maayos sa gabi and say, Thank you Lord because you allowed me to work so many things today. Or, you wasted your time in idleness. Proverbs 19.15 is lotfulness. Ano yan sa Tagalog? Batuganness. Para ma- maunawaan niyo palalo. Batuganness casted into what? Hello? Into what? A deep sleep. Gina, lagyan natin ng apostrophe in MBBE and an idle soul shall suffer what? hunger walang dapat magutom dito eh hello hindi mahirap makuha ang pera kung masipag ka at kung faithful ka sa Panginoon at kung talagang hindi ka covetous at kung cheerful giver ka, God always provides. Pero, kung makakuha ka ng pera at swapang ka, at sarili mo lang ang iniintindi mo, wawalan ka ng pera sa kinabukasan. Naunawaan mo ba ako? At huwag kang hihingi sa akin. Mas bibigyan ko yung taong nawalan pero cheerful giver kaysa yung taong nawalan dahil kasalanan niya. And by the way, 
Karamihan na tinutulungan ko dito, hindi cheerful givers. Karamihan ng mga kinakailangan ng prayer financially, hindi cheerful givers. Sapagkat yung mga cheerful givers does not call me up or text me, Pastor, pray for me, I am in dire need of finances. Why? Because God honors His children who are obedient to Him. Do you realize that? Hindi ka siguro magiging mayaman na tulad ng ibang mga members natin. But hey, God always provides enough. Sinabi ko sa inyo, if you have enough, you are rich. Hindi yung mayaman yung sobra-sobra. Proverbs 23, 21. Isayin natin yan, ha? For the drunkard and the gluten shall come to poverty. Yan. Tignan nyo, ha? Ano yung drunkard? Lasenggo. Hindi ka lasenggo. Di ba? Hindi ka lasenggo, eh. Ano yung gluten? Matakaw, masiba, malakas kumain, kahit busog na kumakain pa. Shall come to what? Shall come to poverty. Ano ang sabihin mo? Ay, hindi ako yan. Pwede ba? Hindi ako yan. And drowsiness shall clothe a man with what? Rags. Ano yun, drowsiness? Yung palagi inaantok. Yun ang drowsiness. Para kang nakainom ng cup syrup. Nakunumahan niyo ba ako? Ha? Pambira ka. Araw-araw na makita kita. Nakainom ka ba ng gamot sa ubo? Eh, terrible. Kagigising ko. Umaga pa lang eh. Drowsiness shall clothe a man with rags. Kikinig ba kayo? Yung gilalang ng mga bata dyan, nakikinig ba kayo? Ha? Proverbs 14.23 In all labor, there is what? Profit. Sa lahat ng trabaho, may kita. Ayan o, Tagalog, di ba? Sa lahat ng trabaho, may kita, may gana. Alright. But the talk of the lips tended only to penury. Sige, wala ang ginawa ko dito maldal, wala ang ginawa, you know. Alam nyo, ang madaldal lang na kumikita ang mga reporter sa radyo. Proverbs 18.9 Yan. We already read that. He also that is lawful in his work is brother to him that is a great waster. Ephesians 4.28 Let him that stole steal no more. But rather let him labor working with his hands the things which is good that he may have to give to him that what? That needeth. Magtrabaho ka ng honest work, magtrabaho ka ng abuting trabaho. Amen ba? So hindi lang yung, huwag ka na magnanakaw. Kundi kung magtatrabaho ka, sa mga kamay mo, yung magun, magandang trabaho. Baka naman, magtatrabaho ka. Drug dealer ka naman. E smuggler ka. Ganon din naman yun eh. And you know what? The great stealers are not those that steal money. They steal time. Pakita nyo sa boss nyo, if you have eight hours at work, work. Pakita mo sa kanya. If it were as common a thing, sabi ni Jonathan Edwards, for them to throw away their money as it is for them to throw away their time, we should think them beside themselves. Ano yung beside themselves? Luko-luko. Alright? And not in the possession of what? Of their right minds. Yet time 
is a thousand times more precious than money. And when it is gone, cannot be purchased for money, cannot be redeemed by silver or gold. That is time. Sana itong message na ito, baguhin yung attitude nyo sa oras. Secondly, we waste our time with wickedness. Isaiah 55 verse number 7. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts and let him return to the Lord and he will have mercy upon him and to our God for he will abundantly pardon. We waste our time with wickedness. They are reproved by this doctrine who spend their time in wickedness, who do not merely spend their time in doing nothing to any good purpose, but spend it to ill purposes. Such do not only lose their time, but they do worse. With it, they hurt both themselves and others. Bakit wala kang gagawin sa buong panahon mo kundi mag-isit ng masama sa, ta- sa kapwa-tao? O magnakaw? O gumawa ng masama? Thirdly, we waste our time by pursuing worldly goals at the expense of our souls. We waste our time by pursuing worldly goals at the expense of our souls. Matthew chapter 6 verse 19 to 21. We read that already. And Sabi ni Jordan Edwards, They therefore, whose time is taken up in caring and laboring for the world only, in inquiring what they shall eat and what they shall drink and wherewithal they shall be clothed, in contriving to lay up for themselves treasure upon earth, how to enrich themselves, how to make themselves great in the world, or how to live in comfortable and pleasant circumstances while here, who busy their minds and employ their strength in these things only. And the stream of those affections is directed towards these things. They lose their precious time. Listen, Jonathan Edwards was not poor. He was wealthy. But he used that wealth for a godly cause. Ito mga nagsasalitang ito, hindi ito mga mahihirap na tao. Do you know what I'm saying? Do you think I can speak this way if I'm poor? Huh? I have money to spend. But why would I spend that money to something that is worthless? That will not be good for the soul. Amen? Amen. Kita nyo yung mga unsaved. Umiinom, aninigarilyo, nagsusugal, nagtadrugs. Can you imagine the waste that they're doing in their lives? Ngayon, mamamatay din sila. Ang papatay sa kanila ay yung ding gumagawa ng ginagawa nila. Tulad ni Colonel Marcos. Bala na. My goodness. They lose their precious time. See, kung ang ginagawa mo lang sa buhay mo, nagtatrabaho ka for your own self, nagtatrabaho ka for you to eat, nagtatrabaho ka for you to be able to have all those treasures on the earth, you're just working to make yourself wealthy, how to make yourself great in this world, how to live a comfortable and pleasant Life while here, yun lang ang ginagawa mo. You know what will happen to you?
very seldom you find people who pursued worldly goods for their own selves that are today living a good life. Some of those politicians are even in jail. Do you realize that? Thirdly, reasons to manage our time better. Yeah. Ito, preaching ng isang tao noong 1734, pero ngayon applicable pa. Di ba? Reasons to manage our time better. Matthew 12, 36. Matthew 12, 36. But I say unto you that every idle word that men shall speak, they shall give account thereof in the day of judgment. Or can you imagine that? Kahit na yung idle word, yung walang kwentang salita, nasabihin mo, may accountability ka sa langit. First of all, you are accountable to God for your time. You are accountable to God for your time. Make no mistake about that, folks. You better learn it now. You are accountable to God for your time. Do you know why? Because it was God that gave you time. Time is a gift of God to us. Do you realize that? We did not give ourselves time. Tayo ba nabigyan ng oras sa sarili? Hindi. Time is a talent given us by God. He has set us our day. And it is not for nothing. Our day was appointed for some work. Therefore, He will at the day's end call us to an account. We, we must give account to Him of what? Of the improvement of all our time. Look at that. We must give account to Him of the improvement of all our time. As you live each day, is there improvement sa time mo? Is there? Number two, you have already lost time. You have already lost time. Illustration here. If you are losing money with an investment strategy, change is strategies. You know what I know? You know what I know? Sinabi ni Jonathan Edwards, graduate ng Yale, merong master's degree yan. May master's degree. Ha? Anong sabi niya? Noong 1734. This can be applicable even today. If you're losing money with an investment strategy, change a strategies. Sinasabi ko sa mga workers natin, even here, di ba? Sa mga preachers natin, sa mga pastor ng MBBE, all right? I do not mind you changing a strategies, but you do not change a strategies that work. Para magkaroon ka lang ng sarili. No, di ba? Yung mga mga pastor, dahil ayaw sa akin, ayaw mag first fruit. Ayaw sa akin. Kita mo, mga tanga eh. At ayaw sa akin, ayaw mag first fruit. Okay, abanti yan eh. Sabi ko, di, ibigay mo yung strategy. Gawin mo second fruit. Yun lang pala eh. Di ba? Oh. Anong sabi ni Jonathan Edwards? The devil makes fool of them. Ito ha? Ganun yung may gift. Please understand this now. Young professionals, understand this now. For when they are young, he tells them, there is time enough hereafter. May panahon pa dyan. Bata ka pa eh. Sabi ni no? Sabi ni Taning. Di ba? There is no need of being in haste. Huwag kang magmadali. Bata ka pa. 
Take your time. It will be better seeking salvation hereafter. Kaligtasan. Huwag kang madaling maligtas. Enjoy muna yung buhay mo sa mundo. Bakit ka masesave ka agad? Hindi mo pa natitikman lahat. Tignan mo muna yan. Di ba? And then, sabi ni Edwards, and then they believe him. Haniniwala. Yung mga tao sa Diablo. Afterwards, when their youth is past, wala na, hindi ka na bata, the devil tells them that now they have lost so much and the best of their time that it is not worth their while to attempt to do anything. Oh, marami ka ng minutes na oras. Tanda ka na. You know? Well, hindi na worth yung, you know, tinuho pa yung sarili mo sa harapan ng Diyos. Huwag ka nang gumawa na kahit ano. At alam nyo, araw-araw, pinapaniwalaan ng maraming tao ang jablo. Kung papaniwalaan ko ang aking sarili na flesh, ha? Pagod ka na, 66 years old ka na, mag-semi-retirement ka na, you know? Ay, hindi mo na ako makikita rito. Nakakapagod mag-preach ng isang oras o dalawang oras pa. Alam niyo ba yon? Ha? Huh? Do you know that in preaching, everything in ev- eh, everything in your psyche is involved, is spiritual, mental, emotional. In preaching, do you realize that? Ang sabi ng iba, ha? Huh? If you preach for one hour, it is as if you work for eight hours. That's how hard it is. Bakit? Kasi alam nyo, mas maganda sana kung ang pastor bulag eh. Hindi na kayo nakikita. Naunawaan niyo ba ako? Wala siyang kilala. Kaya yung mga ibang mga pastor na kikwit sa ministry, nagiging evangelist na lang daw. Mga Amerikano, naging evangelist. Iniimbita na lang sa ibang churches. Bakit? Kasi yung evangelist nagpipreach sa mga tao na hindi niya kilala. Hello? Naun- naunawaan niyo ba ako? Ito, tanan niyo ha. Ako hindi eh. Bakit ako ganito magsalita? Very personal. Kilala ko kasi marami sa inyo. Kilala ko ugali niyo. Naunawaan niyo ba ako? Kilala ko yung kalukuhan niyo. Mahirap sa akin to eh. Ano kaya mag-evangelist na lang ako? Na nagpipreach ako sa mga tao, kahit anong preaching ko, wala na meron akong kilala dyan eh. Pero mapipreach ako dito. Ha? Makikita ko ikaw. Ganyan ka. Hindi ba ako maasar? Hindi ka nakikinig? Kala niyo siguro madaling tumayo rito eh. Naunawaan niyo ba ako? Yes. Hindi, hindi niyo ako naunawaan. The devil is like that, folks. Di ba? Oh. Kaya kita niyo, yung mga tao dyan, na alam nila ang kanilang sarili, nagsisiksik dun sa likod. Napag ako tumingin dyan, ang ginagawa nila, dun sa gitna. Tatago rin sa ulo nung kat- sa harap niya. Akala nyo ba bulag ako? Ha? Tanga! O kita mo ngayon, gising ka. Ngayon ka lang makakausap ng ganito. At ngayon ka lang makakarinig ng ganitong klaseng preaching. Makinig ka na! Hindi ba? sapagkat hindi mo napapaging ganito ng buong lingko, sapagkat wala ka naman dito. Oh, At ulitin mo, punta ka sa YouTube. Pagigyan mo ulit yung preaching na to. At least, hindi kita nakikita. No, no, ayos sabi ko. Hindi. Hmm. 
Eh, hindi naman kayo nagikinig uli sa mensahe. In fact, pagkatapos ng mensaheng ito, hello, hello, nagikinig ba kayo? Pagkatapos ng mensaheng ito, gusto mo nang kalimutan ito eh. Thirdly, in your, in your later years, you don't want to regret the time you wasted. Yan. In your later years, you don't want to regret the time you wasted. Gusto mo ba yan? No? Tanda mo, sa, sayang, sana. I made good use of my time when I was young. Di ba? May mga ganun. Sayang, sana. Naging prudent ako. Sayang, sana. You know, when I was young, uh, nakita ko yung sarili ko Sayang, sana. Hindi uh, ko kinain na gusto kong kainin. Sayang, ngayon matanda na ako. Sayang, puro ka na lang sayang. Magsaya ka na lang. Puro ka sayang eh. So, ngayon bata ka pa, ito natin nyo, ngayon bata ka pa, don't allow yourself now that when you get old, you go and say that. Hello? Hello? Ngayon bata ka pa, ha? Don't allow yourself now that when you get old, you will say, Sayang. In your later years, you don't want to regret the time you wasted. Galing talaga na Jonathan Edwards, no? Very wise. Very wise. The illustration should be this. Youth, should not be wasted on the young. Sabi ni Jonathan Edwards, what a sense of its preciousness have poor sinners sometimes when they are on their deathbeds. Such have cried out, oh, a thousand worlds for an inch of time. Oh, a thousand worlds for an inch of time. Then time appears to them indeed precious. Do you want that when you're old and dying, doon mo lang realize that time is precious? But when you were young, you don't care? Ano sinasabi ko sa mga estudyante? Study well. Make of your time to really be good in your studies. Graduate. But while you're doing that, serve God. Because when you serve God, God will take care of your studies also. The MBBE. Itong MBBE. Listen now. Itong MBBE. Marami ritong suma kum laude, marami magna kum laude, maraming kum laude rito, maraming honorable mention dito. Be part of that. But don't you ever say, I'm so busy studying, I forgot God. I'm so busy studying, I forgot to come to God's ecclesia. I'm so busy studying, I forgot. Listen, balance your life. You realize that? Balance it. Will you quit your television? Young people, will you quit that? Will you quit, you know? Wala ka pang pinuprove sa buhay mo. Ang laman ng iPad mo, puro movies. Puro games. Akala mo, nag-aaral yan pa iPad. Hindi pala, game pala. Usong-usong yun yung Everwing. Pati ako, gusto isali dyan. Everwing na yan. I'm not saying you ought not to play games, folks. 
By what, what? Why would you spend much of your time playing those stupid games when you can do something more precious for your family and for God? Huh? Stupid! I mean, you have, hey, you do good now. When you retire, do everything you can to watch television, okay? Wala ka na naman gagawin eh. Retired ka na. Alam nyo ako, nag-iisip pa ako. Nag-iisip pa ako to go to my friend who is a graduate of Harvard, asking him as a member of the Harvard club, hey, I want to go to Harvard. Do you realize that? At 66 years old, I still want to do a class course in Harvard today. That's my aim. And you know what? I will do that. Meron dito nung araw, Harbarjan Kale, sa tundo. Diyan ko mag-aaral, Harbarjan Kale, sa tundo. Nung araw yun, wala na ngayon. You see, can you imagine as old as I am, I still want to go up the ladder of educating myself. Samantalang ikaw, bata ka ba, paso ka na. I mean, look at those people that died in the resort world thing. Diba? They make an example of that, for example. Bata pa yung nanunog doon, bata pa yung pumatay ng 37 tao doon, namatay din siya. He wasted his time for nothing, folks. At yung mga nasunog doon, yung mga namatay doon, wasted their time for nothing. They wasted their lives. Is that what you want to do with your life? You know, in everything I do, whatever it is, I will always be the best that I can. No, ako, I don't know how old was I. I think I was 14. No, ako, I pumasok bilang salesman nung walang lasang orange juice. You know? Magbenta ka ng isa niyan. Pag binalikan mo yan para magbenta uli, mumurahin ka na sapagkat kalahatin bote nilagay doon sa baso. Wala pang lasa yung baso. Kaya anong ginawa ko? Ang ginawa ko, ito. Pag ako nagbenta, hindi na ako babalik dyan kahit kailan. Ha? Alright. At alam nyo, at 14 years old, tap ako sa pagbenta ng orange juice na walang lasa. Why? Because I am not in a habit of wasting time for nothing. Siguro naman, naiiniwala kayo. Fourthly, you don't want to spend eternity regretting how you spent your time. You don't want to spend eternity regretting how you spent your time. Oh, yung kwento ni Richman and Lazarus, di ba? Ang sabi ni Jonathan Edwards, though they were very lavish of their time while they lived and set no great value upon it, yet how have they changed their judgments? How would they value the opportunity which you have? if they might but have it granted to them. What would they not give for one of your days under the means of grace? So will you, first or last, be convinced 
But if you be not convinced except in the manner in which they are, it will be too late. Pagkatapos ng buhay na ito. Hello? Listen to me? Pagkatapos ng buhay na ito, eternity na. Baka namimiss niyo yung usapang yun. Ha? Ulitin ko. Pagkatapos ng buhay na ito, kahit na ilang taon kang nabuhay, kahit umabot ka pa na isang daang taon dito sa mundong ito, pagkatapos nito, eternity na. Unless otherwise, you do not believe in eternity and that is your choice. You have the freedom not to believe in it. You have all the right. You know? If you think you have the right to be wrong, then have that right to be wrong. But if you believe that what I'm telling you now is right, better believe what is right. And do something more precious now with your time. Fourthly, ways to better manage your time. What are the ways to better manage your time? Number one, don't, get, don't wait to get started. Don't wait to get started. Psalm 119 verse number 60. I made haste and delayed not to keep the commandment. Nagmadali ako at hindi ko kailanman hinuli o dinilay na ingatan ang kanyang mga pinag-uutos. Don't wait to get started. If you delay and put off his improvement, still more time will be lost. And it will be an evidence that you are not sensible of its preciousness. If you delay and put off its improvement, still more time will be lost. You know, in trying to get started, you carry your weight. I mean, you might, you might be sick, overcome that sickness, and start making use of good time. You know? Whether I am well or sick, I work. Do you know why? Because my boss is God. Not anyone else. And you cannot prevent me from serving and working even if I am sick. Mga iba sa atin, inaalagaan natin yung sakit natin. Yun sa Pilipinas, yung baby na may lagnat, pinabalutan ng kumot. Sa Amerika, yung baby yung may lagnat, ha? Nilulubog sa yelo. Don't wait to get started. Don't delay. Don't procrastinate. The Lord gave you a plan. Ask God if that is his plan. And if you are sure that his plan, start doing it. Start doing it. You ask for counsel from wise men on business or whatever it is, and they are wise because God gave them wisdom, and you think that God can use them to tell his plan to you? Do it. Don't waste your time. Listen here, young people. You have a godly father? Listen to your godly father. They have more wisdom than the unsaved ones. 
Listen to your godly father. Listen to your godly mother. Do you realize that? Listen to them. Don't listen to your instinct. Listen to wise counsel. Because that will save precious time. Basta inyo mga magulang, mga anak ninyo, they decide, may pastor kayo, hindi nyo lang ina-acknowledge na. Ano kaya sasabihin ni pastor dito? Masira mga tuktok ng iba sa inyo, no? Tapos talapit ka sa akin, you'll get my blessing? Sira ba ulo mo? You did not even ask for my counsel? You didn't seek for my advice? And then you come to me and get my blessing about it? You're a fool. Wala pa ako dito na inadvisean at pinakinggan ako. Na natalo sa negosyo. Na nagwala sa karir. I always use the illustration. Ben Dio, let me use the illustration. Can I do that? You stand up. You know Ben has been here since what? 19 what? 1975. Charter member ka? He had a good work. He worked in the bank. He was one of my first accountant here in the MBBE. The Lord bless him. Am I right? The Lord bless him. He worked in the bank. He put up a business and God began to get that business to grow. Until he thought he can do it by himself. He resigned from the bank without even telling me about it. Asking even for my prayer. Begin to do business without telling me about it. Even asking to pray for it. Am I right? Began to borrow money from members. Began to do more business he can. Without even telling me about it. Until things went wrong. Until all of the losses that he had resulted in a stroke. I'm so glad he had that guts to come back and start all over again. Just imagine the precious time is spent in nothing. He would have been a very outstanding believer now. Am I right, Ben? Thank you. Ang titigas ng ulo ng iba sa inyo eh. Kasi ang gagaling nyo eh. Marunong pa kayo. Ano kaya wala lang kayo magpastor? I mean, wag, wag na kayo gumawa ng pastor. Wala naman akong pakialam sa inyo eh. Di ba? This man, Wilson Tan, from the time he was a graduate in school, has communicated with me every time. There's not a week in which he does not even text me. In every major decision he makes, he asks for my prayers and my advice. Listen to me. 
And let me ask you, what is he now? Listen here. I mean, kung ikaw mature ka sa pananampalataya, huwag kang maging mas marunong sa pastor mo. Naunawaan niyo ba ako? Galing mo eh. Kung mas marunong ka sa akin, umalis ka rito, gumawa kang sa ilim mong gawain, at magmarunong ka doon. But not here. Sapagkat kung mas marunong ka sa akin, yung anak mo na lumalaki, gawin na ng utak niya. Narealize ko ba yan? If you as a father don't even respect your pastor, do you think your children would? Ha? Nakikinig ba kayo sa akin? Kinakaos ko ang pamilya ko. Naano ba niyo ba ako? Kung hindi ka pamilya ko dito, huwag kang makinig. Hindi ka kasama dito. Kahit kayo nanonood dyan sa webcast. Hindi ko sinasabing mas magaling ako sa inyo. Pero palagay ko, hindi ako nilagay ng Panginoon dito kung bobo ko eh. Tama ba ako? Hmm. Number one, don't wait to get started. Number two, make times of worship and service what? A priority. Sinabi yan ni Jonathan Edwards, 1734. Make times of worship and service a what? A priority. Isaiah 55 verse number 6. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. And if you would like to paraphrase that, yun yun eh. Seek the Lord, call upon him while there is time. Jonathan Edwards said, Improve those parts of time which are most which are most precious. Sabi niya, improve those parts of time which are most precious. Though all time is very precious, yet some parts are more precious than others. As particularly, holy time is more precious than common time. Agree? All right. Holy time is more precious than common time. Such time is of great advantage for our everlasting welfare. Therefore, above all, improve your Sabbath or Sunday or worship services, especially the time of public worship, which is the most precious part. Lose it not either in sleep or in carelessness, in attention and wandering imaginations. Huh? If it's worship time, don't sleep on it. Don't be lazy in coming to God's ecclesia. Don't be careless with it. Be attentive to it. And don't you ever let your wandering imaginations, which is vain, to hinder you from worshiping God. Kaya ayan, sinasabi ko, sa mga nagbabakasyon sa Pilipinas. Eh. Maaari na sa bakasyon ka, pero hindi ka nagbabakasyon sa Diyos. Am I right? Meron kang eklesiya, pumunta ka sa bawat service dito. Huwag mong sasabihin sa akin, papipitsyo ka sa akin dyan, Pastor, ngayon lang kayo mag aten pag Sunday night. You're negotiating with me about worshiping God? Do you know that even if you pray for one hour, that's not a wasted time? Do you realize that? Huh? You pray for one hour, the things you should pray for, that is the most precious time on earth that you can spend. And you don't even realize how God will answer those prayers. Verly Boreros, you stand up. Alam mo itong taong to, 
May mga pagkakataon sumasama sa akin to in my trip. Minsan sinasabi ko sa kanya, oh, you might lose some clients. Oh, meron kang mga appointment dyan. Hindi, Pastor, I want to be with you. Every time he is with me, two days or three days, mas marami siyang tawag sa kliyente kaysa pag nandito siya. Every time he is with me, mas marami siya nakakatandil on sales. Why? Do you know why? Hey, listen to me. This man here, though how unworthy I am, is blessed of God. Don't you ever forget that. I'm unworthy. I know that. I'm undeserving. I know that. Do you realize that? But God called me in this ministry to be a blessing to all of you. Sana naiintindihan niyo to. Thank you. So sabi ni Jonathan Edwards, lose it not. Whether it be in worship, in prayer, in coming to God's ecclesia, every time, lose it not. When you have time, be there. I would pray for our big cheerful givers here. Every day. Huh? Is, is Joy and Obas there? Joy, stand up. Do you know that almost every time I pray that God will give you a good hand, sharp eyes, so that when you operate, it will be successful. I pray for you on that. He does not know that. Ngayon ko lang sinabi sa kanya. But I would mention him to God and say, Lord, keep joy, his steady hands, good eyes, so that when he would perform surgery, it will always be successful. Thank you. Be seated. You do not consider it a blessing when your pastor pray for you? Pastor Eddie Herodias, I hope he's listening right now. He has cancer. And he's still under treatment. And I pray for him every day. And you know what? His son-in-law has liver cancer, cancer and was given only three months to live. It's almost three months now. And every day I would pray for him. Oh God, have mercy upon this young pastor. Perform a miracle in his own life. And God has been answering When I heard about Pastor Imbao, I don't even know him. I have not seen him yet. Nagaaten siya dito pero hindi ko siya nakakausap. When I learned that he began to have problems with his liver and he's young, I began to pray and say, Oh God, please, please have mercy upon him. Called me up after three weeks and said, Pastor, I'm well. I am not saying na meron akong kapangyarihang manggamot. Hindi ako Pentecostal preacher. Hindi ako si Benny Hinn, ako si Benny Abante. But you know what? The Bible speaks of the effectual, fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. It is not being righteous and doing good. It's being righteous because God made him righteous through Jesus Christ. I pray for so many pastors every day. Even those old ones. Do you know why? Because pastors are precious to me. I regret that I cannot have my father anymore who can still minister to me. Listen, members. (laughs) 
Si Bong Gamboa may pastor eh. Ako. Ang pastor niyo, walang pastor. Naunawaan niyo ba ako? Wala akong pwedeng lapitan na pastor para sabihin ko kung ano ako. That's why when my father died, he was only 69, I cried so much. May pastor kayo. Bigyan nyo ng panahon ang sinasabi niya. Ako wala na akong human pastor na pwede kong lapitan. Don't make it a loss in time if you meet God in prayer, in worship, in Bible reading. Then thirdly, and last, use your leisure time for spiritual and physical refreshment. Tong kailangan ko. Wilson. <laughs> Ito ang dapat kong bigyan ng panahon. Luke 4.4 4. And Jesus answered him saying, It is written that men shall not live bread alone but by every word of God. Use your leisure time for spiritual and physical refreshment when we are most free from cares for the body and business of an outward nature, a happy opportunity for the soul is afforded. Therefore, spend not such opportunities unprofitably, nor in such a manner that you will not be able to give a good account thereof to God. Take care of your body because that is God's temple. So I spend my time and spend our money if we could be able to give good health to our pastors. And I hope na itong mga pastor na pinapagamot ko, uuwi sila and they will take care of their bodies. Sayang. Sayang all the expenses. Sayang all the time that they've spent here when they go back home. They will lose those opportune times to take care of themselves. Tapos na. Tapos na yung preaching ko, tapos na ang preaching ni Jonathan Edwards. Now, the time that you spent here tonight, is that precious? I hope you will not forget that. I hope that after this message this evening, you'll take that opportunity to thank God for the time He's giving all of us. We are not certain of how many days and years we'll still be here. We're not certain. I was in Tacloban two full days. And for the first time after so many years, that, one, that first night I was there, I slept more than seven hours. The second night I slept more than eight hours. That's a luxury. And I praise God for that, you know. Take time to think about what you learned tonight. Mula sa mga bata hanggang sa pinakamatanda. 
At kayo mga bata, mga bata pa kayo, ha? You make use of your time now in such a godly way so that when you get old, you're not going to say, sayang. How I wish I have made good use of my time when I was young. And parts of your time, you families, make God your priority. Make prayer your priority. Make the Word of God your priority. And you know what will happen? The Lord will make you His priority. Million, million ang anak ng Diyos sa buong mundo. Many of them act like they're not God's children. And I surely understand how God can be so sad so many times with many of his own children that do not take time to make God the priority. Don't do that. This served to be a warning to you and a wise counsel to all of you. You want to make the wrong choice? Cannot do anything about it. You pay to listen? Then you wait for God's blessing upon your life. But hey, you will give an account to God for every time that you spend. Let's all stand. Every head be bowed, every eye be closed. I have nothing to add to what I said. If God spoke to your heart tonight, you fill up this altar first. Then the rest of you can kneel down where you are. But fill up this altar first. Your choice.